Oh, you are holy, you are, you are worthy, you are worthy, you are kind, you are lovely, you are majestic, you are exalted. We live our lives in honor of you, O God. We live our lives in worship to you, O God. Oh, I want you to go before the Lord with appreciation and thanksgiving. Say thank you, Father, for all the children that you have given us to me. For all the children in my care, I thank you, Lord. I worship you, Lord. For the gifts of life, begin to thank the Lord for the gifts of life. I go to bed and I wake up because the Lord sustains me. Let the Lord sustain the blessed in the nostrils of your children. Marie, the God, the giver of life. my children, wherever they are right now, thank you for preserving them going out and them coming in. Thank you for giving them life. Thank you for waking them up. Thank you for sustaining them. All the children that you have given to me, I am grateful, O God, because indeed your hand is upon them. Your hand is upon them. Lift them, O God. As a praise in the earth, you go ahead and call your children by name and say, Lord, I thank you for all who are told me to be to you. Thank you, Lord, for the fight for my children. Thank you, Lord, 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 for my your <laughs> Thank you. 
do it again and say, Lord, I bring all the children in my care before you. I bring them before you. In Luke chapter 2, verse 22, the Bible says Jesus was brought by his parents to be presented to the Lord. Hallelujah. And so we're doing exactly that tonight. We say we're presenting every child in your care. Doesn't matter how old they are, they might be 45, they might be 14, they might be four, they might be three months old. How old are they? How old they are does not matter. What matters is that you bring each and every one of them before the Lord tonight and present them to the Lord. Hallelujah. In verse 32 of Luke chapter 2, the Bible says that concerning Jesus, you are a light to the to lighten the Gentiles and the glory of thy people Israel. Ah, they believe so that our children will be light. Glory be to God. Paul said that they might be like beacons of light in a crooked and perverse nation. Begin to believe God with me as we pray concerning their spiritual journey. Brothers and sisters, Jesus said to Peter, Satan has requested for you to sift you away from me, to detach you from me. I know that's talking about the relationship with Jesus. But Jesus said, I have prayed for you. I want you to know, doesn't matter how far away that child seems to have gone, I, your prayers can begin to destroy the schemes of the devil. I want you to call your children by name and begin to declare an end of every scheme of the enemy or to sift them. Jesus said when he prayed, Peter was restored. And so, and so we know that being a part of Jesus, we can also pray for the restoration of every child who's struggling with their faith at this point in time in any way, form or fashion that the enemy is seeking to sift our children from the agenda of God. Tonight we rise up in prayer. Oh, come on, unmute yourself and rise up in prayer and say in the name of Jesus, my children will not depart from the faith. They will continue to follow the Lord Jesus Christ. We destroy the yoke of sin. We destroy the yoke of sin. And the yoke of deception. The yoke of lies. We destroy the yoke of sin. Jesus said, Satan has asked for you. He has asked to sift you. But I have prayed. Oh, this evening, we say, but we pray. We pray. Philosophies out there, out there, ideologies out there, anti-Christ, anti-Christ ideologies out there seeking the attention of our children. Tonight we overturn them. Tonight we overpower them. You might not even know where your son is or where your daughter is, but the Holy Ghost knows. If there's somebody pray about your child's faith, about their spiritual journey, that they may not be sifted away. The Bible says in the last days, many will, will fall away from the faith. Many will depart from the faith. Somebody say, not my child, not the one in my care, not my spiritual sons, not my spiritual daughters, not my nieces, not my nephews, not my biological sons and daughters, not any of the children that the Lord has kept in my care. As for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. As bad as it was in the days of Noah and the ark, the Bible says Noah's family entered the ark and God 
God, shut the door, glory be to God. Man, dig it to 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 ya, roko deshede, my own children, we serve the Lord together. We will be in heaven together. Oh, get it, dig it to Tana. We will glorify the Lord together in the land of the living. Oh, read that in Hungary. you cannot have my children you cannot have my sons and my daughters I rise up in the name of Jesus and I overturn the voice of the antichrist the voice of the antichrist Wherever our children are, in the name of Jesus, we, we, we supply them with the spirit of the living God. We supply them with the spirit of God that grants them boldness, grant them, grant them courage and bravery, or oh, to stand out in a crooked and perverse world.
every place. But it da 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 kosada that they will rise up as a sudden surprise and make it to 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 live in their lives in a dimet. Will of God, rokesi la balabashada, the many of the suko rekesi la badagashkede, to 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 matete tenia eli peti karabatu sekenia oroko soto to to nega reka to to nega shada matete karabatu brodo soto bere bere ana hazanda o barada to 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 bere ono soto eli bere ene bere ono soto o o shada 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 eli kesi soto e se te 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 ya o re de kesi soto riba la bashada ali bere bere kesi soto to to riana eti bere ono to 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 sate ya o ko la la bato soto me te ni para bate ni charimo charimo e charimo to 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 riya de kina da ga no to shada e ti ya da da te 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 John was writing in 1 John chapter 2 verse 16 he says what is in the world for all that is in the world the desires of the flesh the desires of the eyes the pride of life that's all that is in the world as in the negative the world that is going in, in, in that is going along with the devil is all about pride it's all about desires of the flesh it's all about uh, about flesh and gratifying their their their, their fleshly desires for tonight in the name of Jesus we speak con selling the work of the holy spirit in the lives of our sons and our daughters that in the name of jesus they rise up above the desires of the flesh they rise up above the the lust of the eyes the the, the pride of life medosa kadania hatosa nakana all the cravings of the flesh that has caused our children to make wrong decisions wrong decisions about their sexuality wrong decisions about about who they marry wrong decisions about where they live what they do what work they do lord in the name of jesus we bring all the influence of the enemy we crush it by the power of the holy spirit and in the name of jesus that our children will no longer be at the mercies or, or victims of of the horrible horrible influence of the enemy that the influence of the holy spirit will be turned up as we pray the influence of the holy spirit will be turned up as they as we pray that 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 the spirit of humility will begin to take over their their minds the spirit of purity will begin to take over their cravings hallelujah and make it so cover yeah 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 and dala da do do and get in the his anna and they say can make it to zanana we overturn the spirit of pride the spirit of pride that has caused men and women to languish in sin because pride is the strength of sin and so in the name of jesus we destroy the yoke of pride we destroy the yoke of pride that are children will not be yielded to the spirit of pride but in humility they will serve the lord hallelujah glory be to god we come against the influence of, of the spirit of addiction we destroy the yoke of addiction addiction to drugs addiction to pornography addiction to the vices of the devil addiction to uh, substance abuse, addiction to alcohol, addiction to immoral living. Some of our children have made choices that are anti-Christ. They do not represent Christ. Choices of sexuality, choices of, 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 of the use of their bodies. When the Bible says that your body has been paid for by the blood of Jesus, treating their bodies as though it is their own property, not understanding that God has a stake in that property, in that body. And so in the name of Jesus, we destroy the yoke of our Addiction. We destroy the yoke of sin. We destroy the yoke of the lies of the enemy that is rampant out there in the world. We destroy the yoke of the voice of the enemy. Speaking against the Christ. Speaking against the Christ. Every voice speaking against the Christ. We mute them where our children are concerned in the name of the Lord Jesus. But we magnify as we pray the voice of
of the Holy Spirit. We magnify as we pray the voice of the Holy Spirit in the area of sexuality, in the area of the use of their bodies, in the area of the, of the jobs they do, of the steps they take, of the choices they make. Oh, we amplify the voice of the Holy Spirit as the greatest influencer. We subdue the voices out there that are contrary to the voice of the Spirit of God. Jesus said, my sheep will hear my voice and they will follow. Everything uh, uh, that is walking against uh, that our children hearing the voice of our Lord Jesus. Oh, we, we come against such things in the name of Jesus. We come against the negative influence of social media. The negative influence of peer pressure. Every form of influence that is anti the Christ. But this that's why Paul said uh, uh, the spirit of lawlessness is already at work. But those of us that have been called to restrain it must continue to restrain it. Tonight I want you to restrain the spirit of lawlessness from driving and influencing the lives of our sons and our daughters wherever they may be. Maybe you are like me. Your children are not at home. But, you, but God can be where they are. God is where they are. And so we, 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 we invoke the power of the Spirit of God to keep our children, to keep their going out and are coming. They're, they're going out and coming to keep them uh, in making the right decisions, in making holy decisions in the name of Jesus. Come on, meet yourself. Pray me somebody. I begin to pray that as they begin to choose friends, as they begin to have associations and allegiances, it will be such that is influenced by the Holy Spirit. Influenced by the Holy Spirit. Because God said it is not good for man to be alone. That every human being is a social being. So we pray for their associations. We pray for their, their connections and their allegiances. We, in whatever place they might be. In nursery. Let's pray for those children in nursery who are so young that they're not able to make certain decisions for themselves. Let's begin to cover them with the blood of Jesus that by the power of the Holy Spirit they are kept from the destruction that is out there. There are nursery staff or nursery there are people within the nursery that may be agents of the enemy but tonight in the name of Jesus we ring fence our children away from the dangers out there according to Psalm 91. Oh, a thousand will fall at their side, ten thousand at their right hand, but it will not come near them. It will not come near them. It will not come near them. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I don't know about you, but I just want you to pray about children and their relationship with their carers, both Dege Setonia, their domestic carers, Labrada Sukadi Katozana Katoge Negenia, Holy Spirit of God. You are the one that's leading us to pray concerning the relationship of our children with their carers. Robo de Geske take a son takashada in the name of Jesus. We bring every relationship with carers. We bring it under the scrutiny of the Holy Ghost. We say every 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 activity that is not of you, we command it to die. We command it to die in the name of the Lord Jesus. Every influence that is not of you, oh, we, we, we blot it out through the power of the name of Jesus, through the power of the blood of Jesus. We blot out every influence that is not of you. Come on, church, I'm not the only one in church tonight. Let's pray. We secure our children's emotional life. Some children's emotional life is completely distorted right from a young age because of their experiences with certain carers or even certain, certain carers, be it parents or not. I want you to pray and say, Lord, all these children that are in my care, I bring the influence of the Holy Spirit over all of their relationships with their primary caregivers. I speak the life of God into all relationships for my children. Go ahead and begin to pray.
pray about students, student tutor relationships. We, we, we sanctify every student tutor relationship by the blood of Jesus. And by the river of life that is coming from the inside of you, we, we, we bring life into every relationship with tutors, with mentors, with coaches. Uh, with trainers, every tutor, uh, mentor, mentor, mentee relationship, every tutor, student relationship. Oh, let's Catalina, we bring the power of the name of Jesus to bear. <laughs> Bear upon every tutor relationship made this satan student tutor relationships sekete sekete zuna vadika sata adani hoda adani hoda hedika teke soto dobra da santa adekinana every plan of the enemy to sift our children if I had the tutor student relationship we overturn it we overturn it in the name of Jesus we tread upon the serpent we tread upon the scorpions say degesunda responsible for the shifting oh desata of our children from where the lord has planted them me do 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 skadi or ratis and a guna e tiboria da 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 oh go ahead i begin to pray for every child in your care morika satata ask that the spirit of god will open their eyes so that they're able to discern that which is walking by the spirit of God and that which is walking by the enemy. I pray, oh God, that by your spirit, my sons and my daughters will be discerning in their day to day living as they, as they relate with other people that they will be discerning Bible says test all spirits then you can hold fast to the one that is true some of our children are locked into relationships friendships or associations allegiances that they don't need allegiances that are hurting them they don't even know it's hurting them tonight we stand in the place of intercession and we destroy every unwholesome relationship we destroy every unwholesome relationship we sever we sever Every unwholesome relationship, Medokosata, destiny draining relationship, we sever you now, Medokosata. I say, go your separate ways in the name of Jesus. Go your separate ways, Maradagosoto. Some of our children are struggling with focus, they are struggling with ambition, they are struggling with being purpose driven because they have a, a group of friends. Come on, church, or mute yourself and begin to pray and say, in the name of Jesus, all forms of allegiance. That are unwholesome, that are draining, that, that is draining on destiny. Ah, tonight I bring them to an end. In the name of Jesus, I bring them to an end. Somebody says, Agatha, why would you want to bring an end? A relationship that is not yours. Because Jesus said, Luke 10 19, I give you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions. Unwholesome relationship, they represent serpents, they represent scorpions. And so I, I take a stand as an enforcement agent. And I and on wholesome relationships in my son's life, in my children, in my daughter's lives, I command those relationships. Seize now, seize now every relationship that constitutes sifting our children from their, from where God has designed for them, from their eternal destiny. I uproot them in the name of Jesus. You need to rise up in the 
in the middle of the night and call your children by name and say, hear the word of the Lord. I speak to you in the name of the Lord Jesus. You will hear the voice of the Lord and you will follow him. You will follow him where that relationship is concerned. You will follow God. The relationship will not rule you. Jesus rules you. And some of our children are in romantic relationships that is draining them, that is they, it's literally destroying their lives. They don't even know it. Some of them know it, but they don't know how to come out tonight. Stand in the place of intercession and declare an end to all draining relationships. Ah, every unequal yoking. Yet does no go. Someone says, Oh, my, my, my daughter's boyfriend is a Christian. Oh, it's not just about being a Christian. If it's still, I can still be an unequal yoking, even though they met in church. There is something unequal about it. I begin to believe God that the Spirit of the Living God will move into action and reset that child, reset their priorities, reset their desires. So that begins to align with God's design. Relationships that are causing division in the family. Relationships that are dividing the they are dividing the family, causing children to be disobedient to parents, causing children to, to, to be rude and defiant. We bring such relationships under the Influence of the Holy Ghost. Mori katadada, Mori katadada, Mori katadada. Me goro dogo skoto krade ke shukuri ya deke soto. Reke deberi o dogo sata rabada gashkuda. Reki do do do. Eh soto to, eh soto to. Medelia, medelia, medelia. Oro soto to to vi na na na. Ah hata santo ni ada kuda. How we bring every family relationship under the power of the Holy Spirit. Me do se ke ni hata. We take in Hazanda. We stir up the agape love of God in all the families represented here. Are you there, church? Begin to declare that the love of God rules in this family. The love of God rules in this family. The love of God rules in the relationship between parents and children. In the relationship between children and children. In the relationships, in all the relationships within the family. Oh, rest and tenure. Between parents and parents. Marry that, 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 that. The love of God. It, over, it overturns uh, every crisis. The love of God rule. Even in co-parenting scenarios where both parents are not together, but they are parenting these children, we declare the love of God to be the umpire, the love of God to be the final authority so that everything will be done in the best interest of the children in alignment with the word of God. We drive away the spirit of of, of, of unhealthy competition from every family in the name of Jesus. Children competing against each other. No. Every child has their own glory. There is no need for competition. Begin to pray that the relationships between within my, within my children are ah, that it will be such that they cheer one another on, that they encourage one another, they provoke one another to good works. Are you hearing me? Somebody pray over the relationship that your children have with one another over tons sibling rivalry in Daladagos Catania. We command every form of sibling rivalry or any appearance of it, we command it to die in the name of Jesus. We uproot all forms of jealousy, all forms of envy, all forms of bitterness, strife. Ah, we destroy you and remove you from our families in the name of Jesus. Are you there, somebody? Pray with me. I know it's late. That your children will love one another. They will encourage one another. They will be each other's cheerleaders. They will believe the best of one another. They will see the, the best in one another. They will stand and defend one another in the love of God, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We borrow Paul said that in the last days, children will be disobedient to parents. People will be unthankful. And do we see that in the lives of many children in this generation? 
rather defiant, rather ungrateful. That is the spirit of the age. Tonight, in the name of Jesus, we raise the standard of the Holy Ghost against ingratitude, against defiance in the family system, in Dalago Soto Kladashada, and we stir up the power of the Spirit of God to teach, train, and equip our children to understand family government and hierarchy in the name of Jesus. We don't go scattered and aguda into Suda. The Bible says you will honor your father and your mother. That is may be well with you. Lord, we say it will be well with our sons and our daughters because they will honor us. May the Korea the Sada Egirio do Soko. May the Kosha Deke Soda Gaduna. May Tirio do Soto. We drive away the spirit of selfishness, which is the spirit of the age. May the Kosora Daga. One child says, I don't want to help the other child just in case he gets better than me. Tonight, in the name of Jesus, drive away that spirit of selfishness. It's not of God. Someone says, Oh, they're only joking. We refuse jokes that are not convenient. The Bible says there are justice that are not convenient. We drive away competitive spirits. The ghettos are not that that engender strife, bitterness, envy, jealousy. We drive them away in our family relationships. In the name of Jesus. Begin to thank the Lord. The Bible says, Behold, how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. Begin to thank the Lord for unity in your family. Unity, unity. Unity, unity of faith. Unity in, in, in love with one another. Unity in agreement with one another. In agreement with what God has for you as a family and as individuals. Oh, Rabba da Sota Kashada. Reke Soto Toto. For the Lord God Almighty. He's the one that has set the solitary into families. And we are grateful for the family that God has planted us in. To Him be all the praise. And to Him alone be all the glory. For now and forevermore. In Jesus precious, precious day we have prayed. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord. Somebody hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you so much for joining tonight. I just believe God that the Spirit of God will continue to help us as we push in the Spirit so that those that Satan has asked for, and I know that's true of every child, Satan is always asking for our children, but we don't care how many times he asks. We will continue to slam him down. We continue to shut him down. He has no rights. He has no legal grounds to have any of the children that God has given to us. Hallelujah. I want to thank God for you as many as I joining us for the first time we want to say a huge welcome to you thank you for joining us tonight on this evening leg evening shift hallelujah we like it when you're able to join us just make sure that this is not your last time come again give us a thumbs up we want to be able to recognize and appreciate you thank you so much for joining us tonight and thank you everyone if you're like me you're a regular here I want to encourage you. This is a marathon. That's why we're back here every Saturday. We're back here praying. Every Saturday except the fifth Saturday. We're back here praying, knowing that every time we pray, we're building more and more, even that which God desires for our children. God bless you. Amen and amen. Did anybody say they joined us for the first time tonight? Well, if you are there, give us a thumbs up if you can. If we can find that button in your on your phone or something. Let us know that it's your first time. Also, we want to thank God for everyone who's been giving to this work. We thank you so much. Oh, thank you, Nanakwa, for joining for the very first time. The first time as blessing is yours in Jesus' name. So, those of you that have been giving to this work, I want to say a huge thank you to you because your giving is, is helping us to reach further and further in the mandate that God has given to us. Tonight, we have some announcements for you and a testimony, and we'll be right back to finish what we've just started. Over to you, Adansa. <laughs> Thank you very much, Pastor Agatha, and thank you everyone for joining to take time to pray for your children and for all the children in your spiritual care. If you'd like to connect with us, you can send us an email at prayerbootcamp at oasisfoundation.org.uk and we will send you ministry updates and you can send us your prayer requests, your testimonies, as well as your feedback. You can also connect with us by going to our YouTube channel, Prayer Bootcamp for All Nations. 
And um, if you tap on playlists, there you'll find the recordings of all our meetings. You can pray along in your own time. And you can also share the recordings with your friends and family. And we'd like to ask you to kindly like the recordings and also to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you. At the end of the meeting, we'll be taking communion. So please have your communion mm -hmm. emblems ready. Our, our, our meeting, our monthly meeting, Stronger and Better Marriages, where we pray for Stronger and Better Marriages, is on this coming Wednesday. It's always on the third Wednesday of the month. Uh, please join us from 7.30 to 8.30 p.m. UK time. Also, we have um, Operation Let My People Go, our weekly meeting uh, where we pray on Mondays, 9 to 10 p.m. Uh, for the nations and then we pray for specific named people to, against sickness and disease and against cancer uh, so please join us then and also my godly seed which is our monthly meeting where we pray for the fruit of the womb is on every saturday every fourth saturday of the month eight to nine a.m uk time so please make a note of these meetings if you would like to attend and with that, I will, I will go straight to our testimony for today. just want to take a moment to thank all of you who continue to send us your testimonies. We read them anonymously in this meeting to give glory to God, to encourage the brethren. And so we just thank you for taking the time to write them up at, or to record voice notes and send to us. And so today's testimony is as follows. My testimony is about my daughter who has special needs. In February 2023, the local authority sent us a letter to say they're going to cease to maintain her educational plan. An educational plan is a legal document that gives young people under the age of 25 who have special needs access to education, health, as well as social care for them to get the right support they need. A lot of times the local authorities want to stop maintaining this plan because they feel the children do not need education due to their special needs. I appealed and took the local authority to tribunal court. There was an independent private school I wanted my daughter to attend, not a mainstream school. This meant the local authority would have to pay a lot of money in school fees for the next three years. I thank God that even before the tribunal court date, which was scheduled for January 2024, mm -hmm. the local authority conceded and agreed that my daughter could attend the private school and that they would pay for it. She, stayed, she started at the school in September 2023 and has her own private taxi that takes her to school and brings her back home. Glory to God for answered Ooh. prayer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The second part of my testimony is the fact that since she started at the school, she has really blossomed and flourished. The staff is very experienced. They are already discovering different giftings in her that her pre previous schools never discovered. Mm -hmm. The other schools just provided a child minding babysitting service. Mm -hmm. I thank God for this new school. My daughter was able to draw a painting which was selected for a public art exhibition where the paintings went on sale for £150 each. Whoa. Other children at the school also had their work on display at the exhibition. The school encouraged the children to create paintings describing who they are. My daughter did a beautiful painting describing who she is, a bubbly, friendly person who loves going to the beach, who loves colours, brightness and travelling. It was such a beautiful way of describing herself through art and painting. She was able to understand the task and do such a good job to the point that her work was selected for the public art exhibition. I'm returning to say God is good. And I remember that at Reset My Seed, one of the, my favorite prayers, which Pastor Agatha often prays, is in the book of Job, 30, uh, Job chapter 32, verse 8. And it says, but there is a spirit of intelligence in man, and the breath of the Almighty gives men understanding. I use this scripture to pray over my daughter and my sons as well, that the spirit of God that is in them is the breath of the Almighty and brings intelligence to their, intelligence to their cognitive mind, mm -hmm. and that they understand, grasp, and excel at whatever they are taught in school. And that yeah, spirit yeah. is in my daughter, teaching her new things and helping her to create work that is noticeable and worthy of exhibition. God is faithful. His mercies endure forever. 
Thank you, Pastor Agatha, for your relentless efforts to bring us parents to pray for all our seed. Thank God for Fumi QJ and for Tyre, our scribe, and all the other back-end people who are doing incredible work. Hmm. Thank you. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Over to you, Pastor Agatha. Come on, church. Let's praise the Lord for that wonderful development in that young lady. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Only Jesus does things like that. Hallelujah. 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 When the world has given up, the world says no, doesn't fit into any mode. So we're just going to cast her aside. But Jesus says, hey, I've got a place for everyone. Hallelujah. God is the author of wisdom. God is the author of wisdom. We want to begin to we want to begin to thank the Lord for the intellectual endeavors of our children, for their <laughs> academic endeavors, even for their economic endeavors. Like that, that, that mother said that the Job 32, 8, there is a spirit in man and the inspiration of the almighty gives him understanding. Amen. Every one of us have a spirit because God, God breathed into man and man became a living soul. And so we all have that spirit on the inside of us and God's inspiration, God's breath is the, is the, is the, is the author of that wisdom of the, of all that, that intellect needs to develop all that need, that that uh, that child needs for their cognitive abilities to be fashioned and, and and quickened is by the breath of the Almighty tonight as we pray for our children concerning the, the their economic their academic and intellectual endeavors I want us to trust God for the breath of the Almighty to to breathe wisdom into those children that you are standing in for after all we read it in Daniel that that all of the display of understanding that Daniel was displayed is because God gave it to him. Oh, and Dalaga Sotari and and the scripture says, no good thing will God withhold from, from them that walk uprightly before him. Tonight we pray for every child in our care concerning the wisdom that is from above as it affects their intellect, as it affects their academic endeavors, as it, as it affects their economic activities. Oreka Satakashada, Beto Tokuriana, the Bible says, Christ has become to, uh, uh, to us uh, the wisdom of God. That means uh, that intuitive ability, that wittiness that causes your children to rise above. <laughs> this is from God. And tonight we lay hold by faith on the wisdom of God to be imparted unto every child that we're standing in for in all of their activities, in all of their intellectual activities, in all of their of their uh, academic activities, in all of their economic activities, some of our children they need the wisdom of God for business ideas. Some of our children they need the wisdom of God to pass their exams, to go from one stage of, of their academic life to another. Some of our children they need that they need that boost. Wisdom boost. That's what we have come for tonight. Because like Jesus said to Peter, Satan has asked to sift you. And so in the area of the economic, intellectual, and, and, uh, and, and uh, academic endeavors, tonight we say no to the sifting. Oh, you cannot sift them because we have come to pray. You cannot sift them. It's not a, there's no deal. You can't sift our children in their economic life, in their academic life, in their intellectual endeavors. We declare the wisdom of God multiplied towards our sons and daughters. 
Rebutugu Sata Kashada, Azato Soto Kredi Gesede, Adatuzana, call every child by now and say, I connect you to the wisdom that is from above. Ere de Gesoto Kushada, the wisdom of God that is from above. Ebre de Gesoto, I connect you to the wisdom of God. Ebere Odo Soto Kushada, I connect you to the wisdom of God that is from above. Adasata Kashada, in the name of Jesus, in your academic endeavor, in your intellectual endeavor, in your economic endeavor, I connect you with the wisdom of God, with the wisdom of God. Brothers and sisters, it is that same wisdom that caused uh, men that knew nothing about building the temple in the wilderness. The Bible says God impacted them with his spirit and they began to flourish in that wisdom so that they were able to make the, the right curtains, to make works of art, works of, work, work with, uh, with, with metals, with bronze and all that. If you read that in, in, in Exodus chapter 35, you see that God, 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 uh, uh, ministered his wisdom to, to a group of, of, of young guys and they began to flourish in all knowledge and skill. I don't know about you, but my children could do with the dose of that wisdom. Heavenly Father, I bring my children for a dose of the wisdom of God. The Bible says Christ has been made to us the wisdom of God. Let that wisdom begin to manifest in their academic endeavors, in their intellectual endeavors, in their economic endeavors. Soto, some of our children struggle when they come up against fresh knowledge. You know, we're 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 in what we're in second half of the second term for for those those of us in the UK. So our children are back at school. They are learning new 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 concepts. Some of them are finding it difficult to comprehend those new concepts. Not when the wisdom of God is in the right dose, and that is why we have come tonight to ask for the wisdom of God in a fresh new dose that will sh- that will. Decode knowledge. Glory be to God. Mara da soto koshada. Unmute yourself as we pray for our children. Galiga da sota. That in academic, intellectual, and economic endeavors, the wisdom of God oh, will be supplied to them through the power of the Holy Spirit. Yekoto soto kranahada. Wisdom that shatters slow, slow comprehension. Seta kazono kuzanana. Why is it that this child is taking so long for you to grasp this evening in the name of Jesus, I supply you with the wisdom of God that spirals you into quick understanding, quick understanding, quick understanding. Some of our children, they are, they are about to take their final exams in some, in the, their final exams, whether it's at work or whatever, they're about to take exams that will bring about a change of level. And the enemy is, is, is working night and day to keep them on the same spot. Tonight we come in agreement with the Holy Ghost. And we release the supply of wisdom. We release the supply of wisdom. The Bible says wisdom is profitable to direct. The excellency of this wisdom is that it gives life. Wisdom is a life giver. Wisdom that will save. Wisdom that will bring about solutions to problems of the earth. Nobody prays for troublemakers, but they pray for troubleshooters. Ah, come on, church, that the wisdom of God, that God releases in the lives of your children, will begin to cause your child to be a problem solver, to be a troubleshooter. So that they begin to attract high remunerations on that count of their of their contribution to society. Come on, church. Are you am I the only one in church this evening? Robo de Gesoto Madika so grada so da tele the wisdom of God revealed in science, revealed in literature, in history, in dancing, in 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 acting, in all spheres of life, the wisdom of God multiplied to our sons and our daughters in the name of the Lord Jesus. Come on, church, pray with me. I 
la dogro dogo soto kashada i karada soto medelega doga sata desutada we pray oh god concerning the memory of our children yeto soto kana that they have retentive memory already the sata kashada elasticated memory one that is able to expand to receive knowledge to retain knowledge to process knowledge and to reproduce the same knowledge upon demand in a way that it attracts the highest grades in the name of jesus come on church pray with me and say concerning call that child by name i say in the name of jesus you have a retentive memory in the name of jesus you have a memory that is well elasticated able to expand to receive retain reproduce knowledge upon demand and attract the highest grades so that your transition to the next level is glorious without hindrance without eventuality without complication in the name of the lord jesus Already, my heart goes out to those children who their transition to a new level is being threatened by one by one uh, condition or the other sota krada shada mira do soda ye do sana maybe that child is already looking at at their situation and saying mom looks like i'm not going to be able to graduate oh uh, uh, dad it looks like i'm going to have a problem going to my next level tonight i want you to stand up as an intercessor in the house and say hey uro soto konia not on my watch ye take a go sata e take soda i take soriana by the power of the holy spirit of god i give if you speed come on begin to give speed to the children in your care malege soto speed accuracy speed and accuracy speed and accuracy reke soto to 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 the other reshita la la da da go scatter buka da 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 buka da 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 buka da 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 ba soto ko shada eto soda roko maira are you there somebody malide go soto grade shede we the brodo soto mandaliana because the passover lamb has already been slain oh nobody needs to be left in egypt anymore no 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 man dike so sakaria because that lamb has been slain that tells us that a much better lamb a more glorious lamb has been slain for us the bible says jesus christ is our passover lamb aye to go so to brother and so that place of stagnation who's that child who has been trying again and again to change levels and has been meeting rejections has been meeting disappointment tonight in the name of jesus by the power of the holy spirit under this corporate anointing we push we push transition to your next level next glorious level urekatosana step out and step up into your next glorious level oh come on tell every child in your care step out and step up into your next glorious level through the power of the blood through the power of the blood through the power of the blood power of the blood if the Egyptians could not stop this then like oh nothing will stop you because the blood of Jesus is more efficacious than the blood of bulls and goats and lamb rekadonda by the blood of Jesus we give you oh freedom to go over the threshold to surmount the mountain yeto dogoskada gidi eto soto go over cross over cross over in the name of the Lord Jesus thank you Father oh glory be to God glory be to God let somebody shout hallelujah in the name of soto kada shada as we come to the communion table let's begin to overturn every negative pattern every negative pattern staring that child in the face ala koto suno my heart goes out to the child Who's dealing with generational patterns of slow, slow, delayed action? Rekasuda da 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 da. Ah, that's the name. You are talking about 
Lord, generational patterns of delay, generational patterns of delay, oh, my mommy married late, so maybe that's why I'm married late. We come against that generational pattern, negative generational pattern. Oh, my father was so poor for so long. Maybe that's why I'm not making any progress. We destroy the yoke of that generational pattern, contrary to the spirit of God. We say, let God alone be true. Let God alone be true. We seek We say that the image of our children takes back to the Lord Jesus. To the Lord Jesus. To the Lord Jesus. To the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father. In Jesus' precious name. We have prayed. Amen and amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Father, we thank you for the communion table. We thank you because Jesus said to Paul, as often as you do this, you show the Lord's death till he returns. And Lord, as we partake of the communion table tonight, we show your death, your burial, your resurrection, and your ascension to glory. We show and proclaim the victory of our Lord Jesus Christ Amen. over all the works of darkness. The Bible says for this reason, Jesus was revealed to destroy the works of the devil. And therefore, every work of the devil seeking attention in the lives of our children, we declare them destroyed by the power of the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we destroy sickness, we destroy yokes, we destroy burdens. We destroy every form of rebellious spirit. We destroy addiction to antichrist behavior. We destroy every form of addiction to, to cravings of the enemy. Yet also to antichrist lifestyle choices. We destroy them now through the burial death, burial, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. And as we partake, we partake of the freedom that you bled and died to purchase. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Go ahead and partake of the communion if you can. God bless you. Thank you for joining tonight. I want to say a huge thank you for joining. It is always a pleasure praying with you. As we share the grace, I want to remind you that we're praying for Stronger and Better Marriages on Wednesday, the 21st of uh, February. Join us as we pray to establish stronger and better marriages because God says marriage is honorable in all. Hallelujah. Praise God. Um, I just also want to remind you next week's pray uh, prayer for children, which is we set my seed, is at this about this time next week. So that's so th third and fourth Saturdays, we do it in the evening until further notice. We will let you know if that changes. Amen. God bless you. Let's share the grace in fellowship, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Let him be with us now forevermore. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us.